Top 10 Coolest Pickup Trucks from the 50s and 60s Classic pickup trucks have a timeless appeal that transcends generations. These iconic vehicles not only symbolize an era that love to keep everything simple and stylish, but also have embodied a sense of freedom and adventure. Today, each model tells a story of craftsmanship and vision, blending utility with a dash of flair. So in this video, we will unveil the top 10 coolest pickup trucks from the 50s and 60s, showcasing the compact coolness of the Ford Bronco, the timeless reliability of Chevrolet trucks, and the wild and weird choices like the Dodge 100 and Ford Econoline. Let's get started. Number one, 1954 Ford F100. The 1954 Ford F100 is a standout in the history of American trucks, embodying the rugged and functional design of the era. It marked Ford's second generation F-Series with significant upgrades, including the powerful new overhead valve Y-Block V8 engine, which replaced the previous flathead V8. This provided more power and better performance, making the F-100 a versatile workhorse. The truck's exterior was modern for its time, featuring a curved one-piece windshield, a sleek grille with horizontal bars, and integrated headlights. These elements combined to give the F-100 a more contemporary look. Inside, the cab was spacious and comfortable, with improved visibility and ergonomic controls. The redesigned dashboard offered better gauges and controls, blending functionality with style. Driving the F100 was a smooth experience, thanks to its enhanced suspension system, with options like a three-speed manual or automatic transmission and a four-speed manual transmission. Drivers could choose the setup that best suited their needs. The 1954 Ford F100's timeless design, powerful performance, and advanced features make it a favorite among classic truck enthusiasts. Number two, 1955 Chevrolet Cameo Carrier. The 1955 Chevrolet Cameo Carrier revolutionized the pickup truck market by blending passenger car aesthetics with truck utility. As part of Chevrolet's Task Force series, the Cameo Carrier featured smooth, car-like lines and unique fiberglass rear fenders, giving it a sleek and modern look that set it apart from other trucks of the time. Under the hood, it boasted a small block 265 cubic inch V8 engine, delivering robust performance for both daily driving and heavy duty tasks. The interior was equally impressive, with upscale touches like two-tone paint schemes, chrome trim, and a car-like dashboard. The plush pinch seating and improved sound insulation added a level of comfort, not commonly found in trucks of that era. One of the Cameo's standout features was its fleet side design which included flush-mounted taillights and a hidden tailgate latch. This not only enhanced the truck's aesthetic appeal, but also improved its aerodynamics. The 1955 Chevrolet Cameo Carrier set new standards for pickup design, combining practicality with style and luxury. Its influence can be seen in later models, proving that trucks could be both functional and fashionable. Number three, 1957 Dodge Swepside. The 1957 Dodge Swepside was a bold entry in the pickup market known for its unique and eye-catching design. During an era when tail fins were a symbol of modern automotive style, the swept side stood out with its tail fins borrowed from the Dodge station wagons. This gave the truck a distinctive and stylish appearance. Powered by a 315 cubic inch V8 engine, the swept side delivered impressive performance. Inside, it featured a spacious cab with comfortable seating and a stylish dashboard, reflecting the design cues of Dodge's passenger cars. The large, flat cargo bed added to its practicality, making it versatile for both work and leisure. Designed by Joe Bear, the swept side incorporated rear fenders and a bumper from a 1957 Dodge two-door suburban station wagon, resulting in a sleek combination of chrome trim, two-tone paint, and distinctive fins. Produced in limited numbers, with around 1,260 units built between 1957 and 1959, it is a rare and sought-after collector's item today. Its unique design and exclusivity make it a prized possession for collectors, with prices ranging from 10 lakh dollars to over 20 lakh dollars, depending on condition. Number four, 1960 Chevrolet Corvair Ramside. The 1960 Chevrolet Corvair Ramside was a standout pickup truck with a unique design and innovative features. Built on the Corvair platform, it featured a rear engine layout, allowing for a lower and flatter cargo floor. This design made it highly functional and versatile, the most unique feature of the Ram side was its side loading ramp, which folded down for the truck bed to allow easy access for loading heavy or bulky items like lawnmowers or motorcycles. Powered by an air-cooled six-cylinder engine, the Ram side offered adequate power and unique handling characteristics. Inside, the cab was spacious and comfortable with a simple and functional dashboard. 
But despite its innovative design, the Ram side faced market challenges due to competition from traditional pickups and concerns about the Corvair platform's safety. Although sales never took off, and the model faced tough competition from Ford's Falcon-based Econoline, the 1960 Chevrolet Corvair Ramside remains a fascinating example of automotive innovation and a beloved classic among enthusiasts. Number 5. 1961 Ford Econoline The 1961 Ford Econoline introduced a revolutionary design to the American pickup market with its forward control layout. Featuring a flat front and cab over engine design, it maximized cargo space while maintaining a compact size, perfect for city driving and tight spaces. Powered by a 144 cubic inch inline six engine position between the driver and passenger seats, the Econoline boasted a lower center of gravity and improved handling. Inside, the Econoline was all about practicality. The dashboard was simple and durable, with easy to clean materials and plenty of storage compartments. The spacious cab could seat up to three people, making it a versatile pickup truck. The cargo area featured a low load floor and wide rear doors for easy loading and unloading. The Econoline quickly became popular among small business owners and delivery services due to its efficient use of space and reliable performance. Its innovative design influenced future vans and trucks, cementing its place in automotive history as a pioneering vehicle. Number 6. 1963 Studebaker Wagoneer The 1963 Studebaker Wagoneer was a unique blend of a station wagon and a pickup truck, offering a versatile solution for families and businesses. Its standout feature was a retractable roof section over the rear cargo area, allowing owners to slide the roof forward and transform the rear into an open bed for carrying tall items. Under the hood, the Wagoneer offered various engine options, including a 170 cubic inch inline six and a powerful 289 cubic inch V8, balancing performance and fuel efficiency. The interior was designed for comfort and convenience, with a spacious cabin, high-quality materials, and a well-organized dashboard. The retractable roof, combined with the versatile cargo area, made the Wagoneer perfect for carrying large items like furniture or outdoor gear. However, despite its innovative design, the Wagoneer faced tough competition and had a relatively short production run from 1963 and 1960 sticks. Number 7. 1964 Dodge 100 the 1964 Dodge 100 is a perfect example of the forward control design trend of the 1960s. With its cab over engine layout, the driver and front passenger sat above the front axle, giving it a flat front appearance that maximized cargo space and a compact space. This design made it great for city driving and maneuvering in tight spaces. The A100 came in various configurations, including a pickup, van, and camper. The pickup version featured a sturdy cargo bed with high sides, perfect for hauling goods. The A100 offered a range of engines. It started with a 170 cubic inch slant sticks and went up to a 318 cubic inch V8, providing robust performance for different needs. The interior was practical, featuring a straightforward dashboard with easy to read gauges and durable materials designed for daily use. Despite its compact size, the A100's cab was surprisingly spacious comfortably seating up to three people. The flat front provided excellent visibility and its tight turning radius made it easy to drive and park. Number eight, 1965 Chevrolet El Camino. The 1965 Chevrolet El Camino is an iconic vehicle that blends the best features of a car and a truck. Built on the Chevrolet platform, the 1965 model had a sleek streamlined design that combined the handling and comfort of passenger car with the utility of pickup. It offered a range of powerful engines from a 194 cubic inch inline six to various V8 options, with a top tier 327 cubic inch V8 delivering impressive performance. Inside, the El Camino was designed for comfort and style. It featured a well-appointed cabin with bucket seats, a center console, and a car-like dashboard equipped with modern amenities. The cargo bed was both functional and stylish, seamlessly blending with the vehicle's overall design. It could carry substantial loads, making the El Camino versatile for both work and leisure. With its unique combination of car-like comfort and truck-like utility, the 1965 Chevrolet El Camino remains a classic, cherished by automotive enthusiasts for its distinctive style and practicality. Number 9. 1966 Ford Bronco Pickup The 1966 Ford Bronco Pickup was a game-changer in the world of off-road vehicles. It brought together the rugged capabilities of an SUV with the practical utility of a truck, the Bronco pickup had compact, robust design with a short wheelbase that made it incredibly maneuverable on rough terrain. 
powered by a 170 cubic inch inline six engine with an optional 289 cubic inch V8. For those who needed more power, it offered ample performance for both on-road and off-road adventures. The interior was all about durability and functionality, featuring easy to clean materials and a straightforward dashboard layout with essential controls within easy reach. The cab could comfortably see up to three people, making it versatile for work or recreational use. The pickup bed, although smaller than traditional trucks, was versatile and capable of carrying various loads from camping gear to construction materials. The 1966 Ford Bronco pickups combination of rugged off-road ability and practical utility quickly made it popular. Today, it's a highly collectible vehicle, valued for its pioneering design and enduring appeal. Number 10, 1967 Toyota Stout. The 1967 Toyota Stout was Toyota's solid entry into the American pickup truck market, marking an important step in the company's global expansion. Known for its durability, reliability, and practical design, the Stout set the stage for Toyota's future success in the truck segment. It featured a robust 1.9-liter four-cylinder engine delivering around 85 horsepower. This engine, paired with a four-speed manual transmission, offered a reliable and straightforward driving experience. The Stout's exterior was functional, with a boxy design that maximized cargo space. The truck bed was designed to handle substantial loads with reinforced side panels and a durable tailgate. The suspension system, featuring a sturdy leaf spring setup at the rear and an independent front suspension, provided a comfortable ride while maintaining its load-carrying capabilities. The 1967 Toyota Stout quickly gained a reputation for its reliability and low cost of ownership, appealing to a wide range of customers from small business owners to outdoor enthusiasts. Its success paved the way for future Toyota trucks, establishing a legacy of quality and durability that continues today. That's all from this video. Which of these trucks did you like the most? Drop a comment below and let us know. Remember to like and subscribe for more truck reviews and automotive history. Thank you for watching.